Oh my god, this place looks so f***ing sketchy. It's not even open. What the heck? There's just liars lying around inside. What's going on? AKA Wolfie. Welcome back to more Wolfie. You guys already know what it does. What it do, what it do, what it could be. As you guys can see, I still got my blonde hair from yesterday's video. Probably gonna dye it back brown. I picked up the brown hair dye today, but yo, that's not important. What matters today is stupid sh I'm about to do with my friends. Guys, you guys know Amari. Before we begin the video, go smash the like button. Okay, let's just hit a billion fucking likes right now because this is going to be funny as hell. Second thing, link in the description for Ghost Mode. It's almost at 500,000 streams. The second it hits 500,000, streams I am dropping my next track I might even drop two tracks for you guys so go down to the top of the description and go off with that but yo today as you guys can see we are on Google I've already skipped the boring part okay I, you guys asked you shall receive I have a few options of where we're going today because today we are going to the dirtiest grimiest gummiest that definitely sounded like really really bad okay let me say that one more time the the, the grossest most low reviewed body piercing tattoo spot today I'm gonna make Omar because I don't want to get it and I have friends that are very nice and just do things for me And he wants his ears pierced. I'm gonna make him get his ears pierced out of shit spot. I have this place popped up right here already you guys can see it is 2.3 stars universal tattoo and body piercing so when i looked up ear piercings near me we got nine reviews here which is a decent amount these body piercing and tattoos places don't seem i mean the low rated ones don't seem to have a lot of uh reviews but as you guys can see there's nine reviews right here and oh, don't worry guys i already sifted the rating down to two stars i don't know why it says that shit. but yo if we go to the reviews we can go read any of them reviewing only for piercing do not go there the piercer works out of very unsanitary environment. Don't know what he's doing. Piercing my lobe. Very small jewelry. Doesn't allow sweat. Oh my freaking god, they went off. On top of it, the guy smelled like weed cigarettes and wore sandals. I don't know what the problem with that is. The owner even responded to that. Holy shit. Cindy said, I got a rope piercing that was totally crooked. Go to a professional like this one, whatever. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, yo, this is a flop because Ottawa actually flops like this all the time. I live in Ottawa, okay, that's my city. Across the bridge is Quebec, it's Gatineau, okay? So, which is a different city, but unfortunately we can't go there because it's technically not in my city and it's closed. But we have other options. We always could go to Claire's. Claire's is like typical, like, it sounds like jewelry. I don't know, a lot of kids shit. But the problem with Claire's is that I don't even know if we're gonna find a lot of like piercing reviews here because they sell so much shit. Oh, no, here's a one star. My mother went to have her ears pierced. A second hole. Oh my God, $75 for the piercing, which I was shocked because a real piercer would do it for 40 bucks. Cleaner, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so she went off. Low key, Melissa went off. Man, not my place, but to be nice, very friendly staff. And they wrote that in two reviews. Oh, that was Brie and Brennan. They have the same fucking picture. I don't even care. Okay, yo, so half the reviews aren't even about piercing. That's why we have to exit that out. We have one more clears. Too expensive. Non-unisex item piercings took long to get. Let's see some of the pictures here. This is a 3.5 stars. This is like typical. Clairs is just like a fucking, there's a billion of them. This is also not it. But luckily, we have stumbled across the lucky, I think this is the winner of today, Planet Inc. I think they might have renamed themselves because I haven't seen Planet Inc. like downtown in Ottawa in a minute. I know it says Toronto, but this is in Ottawa. Rideau Street, this is near the Rideau Center. That's where like all the tattoo and piercing places are. And this has a 2.5 star review on Yelp. Yelp is like the go-to when you're reviewing shit. So I don't know, there's a bunch of friggin' pictures we're gonna look at. This is tattoo stuff. Look at more tattoos. We see nothing about the piercing, so now we have to go look at the 10 reviews that somebody wrote. Would recommend anywhere else for Planet Inc. They overprice their tattoos and they take smoke breaks between your tattoo service. You tell them, Ashley. You tell them. Holy hell. The men who work here are cocky and probably won't treat you with any respect unless you're a cute girl. Oh my god. Okay, well, Cletus is zooped. Came here a few years ago. I got my wrist dermal piercings. The woman who did my piercing was rude and gave me attitude. After she did my piercing, I could almost see the metal under my skin. It wasn't deep at all. Holy sh**. Okay, so without further ado, I think it's safe to say this has paragraph long reviews. Another one, two dermal anchors on my neck. The guy who did it rushed me, seemed impatient, blah, blah. Tracy went off. This is the spot. We are going to Planet Inc. So now, all we gotta do, <laughs> I hope you guys are ready, pick up Omari. Let's get it. All right, guys, so Omar just scooped your boy. We are en route to the tattoo, AKA the piercing spot, because every fucking, as you guys seen in the reviews, every spot that does tattoos primarily does piercing too. Yeah, how do you we, feel? Don't, we don't do tats, bro. It's called the PP. 
piercing place. But how do you feel though? Have you ever had your ears pierced in your life? Never, bro. You're Egyptian fam, my dad is strict. Like you had your nose piercing in LA in a grimy spot. <laughs> Except I was 24 when I did it. No! When I did these things. <laughs> Wait, time out. Loki, we started this challenge. We, we got my nose pierced started. At the, the grimiest worst, spot in grimiest, the world. Before the guy, this trend was a thing. He told me not to touch it after you pierced something. Do I wash it? He's like, no. I'm like, nothing. He's like, no, just leave it. Nah, you're good. And it got, it got affected for a month. Okay, so are you nervous, yes or no? Yeah, bro. I'm pretty nervous. Like, I mean, like I don't think it's going to hurt. I'm just worried that, like, it's, I'm going to get some kind of disease because it's probably not clean. Okay. As someone who has had their ears pierced, guys, I've had my ears pierced three times. One time at Claire's, which is just like a fucking whatever jewelry store. Second time I had it at, like, another store. And the last and most recent time, fun fact, Dustin pierced my ears with a needle and then we cleaned it with an apple and alcohol. So he actually did a good job. I have really big earlobes. Holy shit. It's really snowy and there is an accident right here. Okay, this guy's stuck in, in stuck in the snow. What is going on? But yo, we're on our way there. I'm not nervous. I'm happy because I get to see this guy. This is the second thing I get to see him have pierced. Next time, smash the like button. We're doing the belly button. Guys, little life hack. When you're getting your ears pierced, I fucked up. I thought it was in like that triplex of tattoo spots. Turns out it's a like seven minute walk further down the road and uh, it's fucking cold outside. Life hack is if you're getting your ears pierced, go to a location that's cold. Doesn't matter how expensive the flight is or any of that because then when you're walking outside to get to the store, your earlobes are already going to freeze. So you you're gonna feel the pain even though it's really not that much pain even less than you would have unless there's a long wait and then it's gonna warm up in the store and then it doesn't work so forget everything I said. we have found the golden light and the golden wave oh shit, wait where the fuck is it oh oh okay here it is open sesame here's me <laughs> Here we go. If you're under 18 years or they influence weather, please come back when you're not. We're under the weather. I'm, I'm the weather. under the weather, Loki. Hey, it's a bird guy. Jeez. Signing all that stuff. I thought this place looked familiar and low-key. It's the place that Bongo got his tattoo. I'm already not even stressed. Upstairs is actually a banging location, low-key. Snacks, waiting room, just in case you get stressed. We got merch, friggin' games, paintings, more waiting. 25 cents, shit. I don't have a quarter. And I really want these snacks, I'm stressed. Artist name. That's light work. You already know, bro. Amari Meds. Come on. What are you getting, both lobes? Are you getting both ears? 65 beans, not bored. Do you want to get a snug piercing? Just in case you want to get your tattoo here. What is this? Are these tats? Yeah. Tat ideas if you come in with no idea and you were like forced yeah, with a bet to get one on your Bacchus. Memory of. Jesus. You can get one here. Not There's Jesus. a billion here. Not Jesus on the Bacchus. They also very sanitary. Purell. Long Shout out to them. Lucky. And some of these tissues to wa wipe your tears when you cry. Yo, Omar, before you get your ears pierced, one thing. No minors, crybaby. No minors, crybabies, drunks, drama, credit, name dropping. Like, come on. I think we all need to cut. We need to cut. You mean the moose? Go you ever seen the golden moose? And I did today. <laughs> How do you feel, bro? Yo, to be honest, you know, my nose didn't hurt that much. My nipple hurt like a fucking... Yeah, I would never do my nipple, but you're yeah, crazy. Yo, your ears, I heard, is light, so I'm not really that stressed. But... Hold on, now. at least it's gonna be nice and clean. Still as opposed stressed. to Dustin doing mine at my fucking house. To this day, I still have them. It doesn't even hurt a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's not the piercing. Yet. <laughs> you know, it's not the piercing. Like, time's up. Don't worry about the food. I'm trying to change the subject. You ever had your ears pierced, man? <laughs> my ears used to be stretched like that. Oh, you got stretched ears? No way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got fun. them like cut and sewn back together. Oh, f they're actually pretty nice though. Yeah, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know they could do that to be honest, but that's sick. I just had like a plastic surgery. Okay. It was like a thing when like, I was a lot Yeah, like a fad. Yeah. I know those. It's like this, bro. I'm stressed. Take out needles. No, no, it's better than See if they're even. Yeah. If you want to move them, if they don't look good to your eyes, speak now or forever hold your peace. And they forever hold your lobes. <laughs> they look good. Well, what's the phrase? Go hard or go lobe? <laughs> go hard or go lobe. Never heard that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, oh, my God, said. Come on. Be there or be loads. One more over. Come on. <laughs> I, swear, I swear they do the gun at like Claire's and sh There's no real way to like thoroughly clean the gun, which is why it's not good. Well, These like, it's like single use, right? I like that better. All set? Mm -hmm. All right, deep breath in. 
Oh, Lee. Okay. So far, so good. Am I going to pass out or puke or anything weird? <laughs> <laughs> How is that? I low key feel pretty hot still. I don't know if it's just because I'm defrosted from outside. Putting the friggin' temporary ones in. Oh, jeez. How'd it look with the stud, yo? Kind of weavy still. Uh, nah, bro. It matches the nose a lot. Now really we weird. both have studs. You'll get hoops one day like me. Probably not hoops. <laughs> so, they're pretty plain. Yeah, they're, they're the, as plain as you can get, to be honest. It's not plain, James. There you go, bud. One down. One to go. You're shaking? Shaking. Chill. Bro. Yeah, no, chill. It's <laughs> not that bad. You get. <laughs> he probably thinks I'm a baby. No. 25. You get some guys in your crying? Yo, man, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Sometimes, or they. Everybody reacts differently. Some people would faint to it, bro. Often, I can't. Yes, yeah, very often. People faint from years? All the time, bro. Mm -hmm. Don't touch it. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like, don't leave that, leave it, that, leave that. It. Don't touch it. That's rule number one. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Deep breath in and breathe out hard. Doing okay? Yeah, why that one hurt more than the right one? Probably because I was expecting it a lot. Second one? Oh, That's two. Man, they're sweating. The pain is gone, bro. That's it. I mean, you're going to have a little stinging after, but mm -hmm. nothing a shot won't fix. Here, big boy. 25. Old enough to get rears pierced. Yeah, you're good. You're laughing, bro. Oh, well, my mom probably won't think so, but you know. <laughs> so. Don't touch. You're done. Like, go look in the mirror, bro. Congrats. How do I clean you? It's all you meant. Alright. Piercing is done. Your age. They're actually wavy. They're actually wavy. Kind of wavy still. Whoa. I'm actually sweating. <laughs> Get your hands on, like, a saline solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a shoddy drug mark. Or if you have it, okay. So, yeah. so clean them. Do, like, twice a day. Is usually Just, like, the spray Q-tip. Don't hurt. Not even yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't touch them with your fingers. So cotton swab. Yeah. Spray them with the saline solution. Around the front and back. You don't have to like twist the jewelry, move it, anything weird like that. Uh, so just do that morning and night, four weeks, then you can put whatever the hell you want. Right? All right, it's everything is done, bro. How do you feel? Yo, you guys told me, yo, what do you think? Mm. I actually rate them. I mean, I would get like a little diamond stud, but like that's just a personal opinion, you know? So yeah, you know, I'll probably, once you settle in a little bit, I'll probably get a nice, I, the thing is, I want some nice big, thick diamonds, probably costing $80,000, so uh, probably have to wait um, two weeks for the next check to come in. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna get Omar a nice pair, and LCBO is across the street, so we need to get that alcohol to get her the pains. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you guys thought I was lying. Bro. LCBO, what you know about that? Come on. Oh my god, this place looks so fing sketchy. It's not even open. What the heck? There's just liars lying around inside. What's going on? Guys, we had no patience. So we went to go get a slice of pizza because I haven't eaten all day. It's 9 p.m. Pizza, pizza. But we have the new earrings that I just copped, Omar. Let's see them. It's 14 karat gold, you fing They can't see it, bro. It's not focused. 14 karat gold. Nothing crazy, but pretty good for a first pair. Yo. Don't get infected. And none of y'all 14 karat diamond Stop this. I felt bad for making him get these because that's the only selection they had available at the place. So we got to put these bad boys in. So we have the rubbing alcohol or the per hydrogen peroxide. Omar's going to go wash his hands and let's get it. And get to surgery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think he's screwed on the back. You know what you should do? You should just take it out. Take the front one out. No, I know. I'm going to I'm gonna take it out and do it one smooth motion. Yeah, right? before I take it out, I'm going to make sure. Does that hurt? Okay, don't move. So how do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? Yo, I'm just chilling for now. <laughs> okay, yo, I might have to take it out. I have to take it out. Oh, I don't want to take it out. Okay, I'm taking it out, taking it out. You're good? Yeah, yeah. Okay, three, two, one, it's out. Yeah. Okay, it's still? It's in. It's in, it's in, it's in. It's in, it's in, it's in. Okay, how's that look? Fire. <laughs> Holy hell, it's way better, KO. Okay, we got one in, let's look at it. Come on. All right, let's get the other one in. You get a haircut now. <laughs> yeah, you need a lineup now. Final look of the earrings. Both have been in there. Your ear's a little bloody, but yeah, you gotta clean that up. At least it's clean. Come on. Come on. Okay. Time to do the final review of the place of my crib. All right, guys, so I just got home. I don't know why your boy looks so friggin' pale. Hold up, hold up. Final thoughts and review on uh, the piercing place and the tattoo shop. Honestly, I have been there before, but I didn't know that was a place because I think they rebranded and called themselves something else. But it was actually not too bad. Literally, like, I would give good reviews and good ratings to everything. Like, the guy was super nice there. They weren't actually mean to us at all. The guy seemed like he knew what he was doing. I mean, he told Omar how to clean it. It was pretty clean itself, like, just the location and all that. Overall, the place was dope. The only thing that I could criticize about that place is that they didn't really have too much selection when it came to, like, actually choosing out your first earring. Like, me and Omar had to go to a different 
different store and buy a different earring because they didn't have too much selection. But when I got my ears pierced like at the store, because I've got a pierced like three or four times in my life, they had like a billion different types of earrings. Because like obviously if you get earrings, you want to start out with the ones you like. You don't want to just get the, the starter ones. And like the starter ones they had there, like the metal rod was so thick. And I don't know if you guys can see my ear, but this little piece here like should be super thin because most earrings are pretty thin unless you're going to like unless you're going to get gauges or stuff like that. So if Omar would have let that one heal in his ear, even though it would have been like healed properly because he was cleaning it and like everything was sanitized, it would have been good. But then he would have had like a massive hole in his ear. And then every other earring that he bought from like any default store or any jewelry store would be mad loose in there. So like that's the only critique or criticism I had with the store. Other than that, shout out to the guy. He was super nice. From my personal experience, I had a good experience. Maybe I got a lucky guy or maybe he was happy that day or maybe I don't know. Whatever happened, I had a decent time there. So I'm gonna give it like a four out of five stars just because five stars has to be extremely hard to get. But at the same time, I do think they deserve better ratings than they have online from my personal experience. Okay, I never had a hellhole fucking shit experience there. But yo, let me know what you guys want to see next. Maybe we can get one more to get like his fucking tongue pierced or some shit like that. Smash the like button if you want to see that. Keep streaming ghost mode. We're almost at 500k. And as soon as it hits 500k streams, which by the way, link will be in the top of the description. New song is dropping. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon on Charles, aka more Wolf, where we stay a little bit more savage on my main channel. And as always, stay savage. Like, oh.